Hello. In this short film I'm going to show you how to print a collagraph plate. After mixing the ink we'll ink the plate as intaglio and then as relief before printing it. To mix your ink you will need some etching ink, some transparent ink or extender, some linseed oil or thinner, a tin to mix it in and a knife to mix it with. Adding transparent ink or extender to your etching ink makes a massive difference to how your, print, your final print looks, especially if you're using quite a textured plate. I'd say experiment with different proportions of ink to see what the effect is. and You can, you can decide which one works best for your plate. I'm adding linseed oil to the ink to make it runnier. This means it'll be much easier to use. I don't measure the amount, I'm just guessing it really. For the next stage you will need some rags, I just use torn up sheets, some pieces of newspaper, some pieces of tissue paper and it's useful to have a magazine to ink on to keep things clean. Just keep turning the pages over as you go. Now for the intaglio inking. Use a piece of newspaper to hold your plate down to avoid getting fingerprints on it and then you're going to paint ink all over the plate using stiff brushes. Make sure you get it into all the grooves and all the rough areas. This film's a little bit speeded up but you get the idea. So having covered your plate with ink you're now going to wipe some of it off. So start with a clean page and use a piece of newspaper to hold the plate down to avoid fingerprints. I'm using the rag to gently wipe the ink off the plate and I keep turning the rag round to get a clean section of it so the colours mix just as much as I want them to. The next stage is to use a piece of newspaper to polish the ink off the surface of the plate. So keep holding it down with, your, with the newspaper so you don't get fingerprints on it and keep your hand flat while you're polishing it. That's really important because you only want to skim over the surface. You don't want to take ink out of the grooves. Next you're going to do exactly the same thing but using a piece of tissue paper which is finer than the newspaper. So still keeping your hand flat and polish the surface which will bring out any small details and you can make the light areas a bit brighter as well by doing this. Ink can get stuck in the edges of your plate so we're going to wipe them clean and this means that when you come to print it your print will have sharp edges all around it. Collagraph plates look great ink to Sintaglio but even better if you add a layer of relief ink on top. This can be in a completely different colour. So here I'm putting some ink on the big roller and rolling it on the glass slab to get a nice even layer of ink on the roller and on the slab. So take it nice and steady. You're only going to roll once over the plate. So it's not like lino printing where you go backwards and forwards. This double inking technique is what makes collagraphs so exciting. The intaglio ink is in the grooves, picking out all those indentations and textures that are uh, cut into the plate, and the relief ink in a contrasting colour is on the top layer, showing another layer of texture. Now we're ready to print the plate. So put a piece of tissue paper on the press and then lay your plate on top of it. This means you can slide it around more easily and line it up with the registration marks. The paper's damp and I'm handling it with these little paper fingers to prevent getting fingerprints on the paper. And then just lay the paper on lining it up with the registration marks so your image is in the middle of your paper. And a piece of newsprint on the back of the, pre of the paper helps to protect the blankets. There are lots of ways of inking collagraph plates and everybody does it slightly differently but this is the way that I like to use and I hope it inspires you to have a go.